see, we've got these squirmy bubs in here. <laughs> Come on, you're all right. I mean, look how fuzzy they are now. Baby's gonna come get you, Mama. So there's a baby behind Mama. Where's your baby? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> they are so cute. They're just little fluff balls. Their eyes are open now. Oh. And sometimes um, when we come out to check on them and feed her, um, they're kind of coming out of the nest. <laughs> Go on, baby. Go on. Go on. It's her dad itself. But then we have another little one. Here's one of the brown ones. Or, well, black. Black brown. Kind of a mix. And then when we stick her in, she's going to chase they that kind of, after her. That's what they do in the nest. Oh! He's hanging out. So, Mama likes to, them to stay in the nest, so she kind of chases them back in. And they just go back in there. I think they've definitely been fed recently because they're more sleepy. Go on. Go on. There you go. <laughs> And they just, they know that where home is, and Mama knows. Good Mama, good Mama, good Mama. Good Mama, good Mama. So, because these babies have started to become more active and started escaping, we want to make sure that Mama has plenty of space. So, we're getting ready to move them all into a bigger um, cage for now. Yep. Since we have the other four rabbits are out in their colony area. We don't want her mixing with them until um, the babies are a little bit older because we don't want her to freak out. So we're gonna get this cage cleaned out and get her moved into a bigger area. Thanks for coming with us. So we're getting the this ready. It's kind of a double wide, two doored <coughs> cage thing. Um, so we'll put her food and water at one end and then probably put the babies at the other side so she can have some peace and quiet sometimes and fill it with some straw so she's got a soft spot to be um, and we'll get it done. I found a baby magnet. A baby magnet? Awesome. So Rosie's helping, Lorelai's helping, um, and we're going to get this done. One more. So we lay down wood, putting down some cardboard to kind of help catch water. <laughs> her, uh, well, her voids, I guess. Um, I don't know if I like this one. I'm going to flip it around because it's too much to take. Granted, it'll all be covered with. Food? No, it'll all be covered with straw, but I still don't want it. Some straw. Make sure that you can see through the thing. Okay. Their straw quality, I have uh, noticed, is severely lacking. Okay. Most here. of the bales of straw that we get here, look at me, have lots and lots of corn stalk in their straw for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, but that's kind of the issue we have to work around. So now what we're going to do is take kind of what's left of some of the straw. Looks like it's a little bit wet on the bottom. I have to take that part out. Okay. And we're going to dump it in this cage, kind of fluff it up, and then we're going to move that cage, stick the new rabbits in it, and call them good. Mm -hmm. Not the new rabbits. Yeah, they're new rabbits. They're baby rabbits. <laughs> they're new rabbits. Do you want to see them? You, you can see up here and don't want to back. I 
that's her her liquid. Mm -hmm. Smell it. Trying to get the wet spot out of it. Mm -hmm. There we go. You gonna come help put the straw in here, Jane? Oh, find a big chunk of this. Yeah. Just set it off to the side. They're right in front of us. Seeing. Oh, baby. Hi. As you see, she's cute. Okay, so we've switched hands. We've got this other two wide cage open with straw. We're trying to pull out the remnants of corn stalks still. And so we're going to transfer Mama and her nesting box into one side. And that's how you know it's a panda baby. Sorry, babies. Easier access to the door and it kind of locks it. Yeah. Close to the I don't know if she'll let you. Heads up. Heads up. Let's take her water off. Do you want me to just pick her up and move her so she goes into the side? She's gonna fight you the whole time. Come on, Mama. So soft. <laughs> so she's trying to figure it out. Looks like she's making sure it's hers. Home and whatever routes kind of enjoy doing that. So. And unfortunately, we had to wait this long because this cage was in use until a few days ago. So. We're a little bit behind the curve on it. But for now at least they have some space. Um, <coughs> of course we want to get her out in the colony eventually. As soon as um, possible. We're hoping once the babies are a little bit older so it won't be such a territorial thing for her. Because um, we want her to feel safe and the babies to be safe. As well. But so. she's got all this straw she can dig in. Um, yeah. and flatten out and make kind of her own space the way she wants it. Hopefully she'll do it. And, uh, yeah. So, We're doing great stay outfit. tuned and we'll let you know. <laughs>